We think the sanctions currently imposed on the aggressor are like a tiny pinprick on an elephant's skin. If it goes on like that, it is unlikely that Russia will leave the occupied territory. We have serious fears about what can happen there, so I have asked for a UN peacekeeping force. But since it is something that is decided by the UN Security Council, where Russia has the right to veto, it is unlikely to happen. Another option is a NATO force, as it was done in Kosovo. But the problem is that NATO comes only once a sea of blood has been shed. But we're so clever, we want it to happen before we're all slaughtered. There were so many Ukrainian military units, but their most heroic act was singing the Ukrainian anthem when they were surrendering their weapons. If that's how they intend to defend Crimea and Ukraine's territorial integrity, what can we hope for? Therefore, it is obvious that this occupation will continue for many years. But the Crimean Tatar people have to continue to exist and solve their problems somehow. And perhaps it would be wise to have a representative in the government. On the other hand, that would be collaborationism. We would be cooperating with illegal authorities, with a government run by bandits. And that is repulsive. We don't believe Russia's promises very much, to be honest. We remember our history very well. When Russia first occupied Crimea, Catherine II also issued a manifesto saying how happy we would be as part of the Russian Empire. As one of its first steps, that empire rounded up all Crimean Tatar military and religious leaders and cut their throats. And then they began forcing the Crimean Tatars out of their territory. As a result, a few decades later, we became an ethnic minority in our own land. And in 1944, there was a total deportation. We find it outrageous that Russia thinks in 19th century terms. We conquered this territory once, therefore it must be Russian. This is a very unhealthy approach, and it could have deplorable consequences. This position has no respect for the people's right to self-determination. The idea that they made up about the so-called Crimean people having a right to self-determination is absurd. There is no such thing as the Crimean people. There is the indigenous population, and there are migrants from inner regions of Russia.